You're right, kids. It's Ras Clark, and I'm joined by a special guest today, Mini Ras. Ras. So, you're right, kids. I like kids. <laughs> and, right, okay, so we've got a choose an explorer. Which one should we choose? Um, I like the one with the love heart glasses. The love heart glasses. She looks pretty cool, doesn't she? Yeah. Okay, let's pick that one then. Okay, so you tell us where to go. Follow those footprints to see where they lead. Where are the footprints? Where are the footprints? Do you see any footprints? I think the footprints lead there. Oh, okay. Let's go over to it. That's a big Excellent. Dinosaur. You found Ooh. a new prehistoric animal. And with it, a new guidebook. Oh, okay. Wow. So we can have a look at it. What look. dinosaur is that? Can you read that? What does it say at the bottom? <laughs> Let's close. It's called a Stegosaurus. So we'll open the book and we'll see what it's all about. I, but I learned Stegosaurus. To read at school. Can I year two? Right, we're going to open the book and learn about it. So it's a Stegosaurus. We know it came from the Jurassic period. And it's a herbivore, meaning it likes to eat plants. This plate protected plant eater yeah. was twice as long as a rhino and as heavy as an elephant. How, is, how heavy is it? As an elephant. Heavy as an elephant. That's yeah. pretty heavy. And it says this plate protected plant eater was twice as long as a rhino and as heavy as an elephant. Stegosaurus was given a name that means roofed lizard because its discoverer thought its bony plates lay flat against its sides. But those plates stuck straight up in rows along its back, protecting Stegosaurus while also helping it stay cool. Wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So it keeps itself cool with what? It's back plates. Oh, yeah. and Stegosaurus had armoured scales protecting its throat and sharp spikes sticking out of its tail. Any time it felt threatened, it could start swinging those spikes around and clear away trouble. Ooh. I wonder what else we're going to learn about this Stegosaurus. Here's okay. where on earth this it. animal was found. Where was it found? Um, there where the cross is. That, and what's that place called? North America. That's right. I learned about different countries and wow, why is it empty in oh, that place? I don't know. Maybe okay. we need to discover more. Maybe. Okay, then let's find out. Wasn't oh, that look. book interesting? You can find it again in your library by pressing B. So there's even more to find out and learn about. Look how many there are. Can we go and again and see if we can find something else? Let's go. Let's have a look. Can you help this mum find her baby? Oh. We have to help her find her baby. She lost it. Okay. So does that mean she's a girl? Must be. Oh, and God, do you think it's there? Let's go. Yeah, where well, the dummy is. Okay. We have to follow that dummy. Okay, then. Let's go that way, then. Oh, what's this? Is, is that where the baby is? You found one of the artifacts yeah. scattered around the island. Can you find them all? Huh? To keep your eyes peeled for those, then we need to find some more artifacts. Okay. Here oh, you're really close now. We're really close now. You found the missing baby. Can you lead it back to its mother? Come on, let's go back to your mom. Okay, come on, let's go and take it to, back to its mommy. Quickly, because the time's ticking down. We gotta do it quickly. Is it coming? Hopefully it is. Hopefully it's following us. Oh, you're really close now. Here we go. Excellent. Oh, you God, found a new prehistoric dinosaur. animal. And with it, a new guidebook. Oh, okay. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's finish this one first. Compsognathus. Oh, my God. What's this? Oh, I think it's another book. Oh, okay. Let's press it. What's that? I wonder what we're going to learn about it is this. Okay, you tell me. So it came from the Jurassic period and it was a carnivore, meaning it liked to eat meat. Compsognathus, or Compi, was about the size of a turkey 
and weighed about as much as a cat. How much did it weigh? Much as a cat. Much as a cat. That's not a lot, is it? Compi was a strong-legged runner with a long tail that helped it make fast turns. This little meat eater was one of the smallest dinosaurs. Small, a bit small like you. Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Compi used its tiny arms to snatch up food on the run. Okay, so we know how we got food. Here's where on earth this animal was found. Where was it? Europe. Europe, that's right. Asia, Africa, North and South America. <laughs> Are we allowed to go in the sea? I think so. We'll have a look in a minute. Much better. Good for you for helping. There we go. We did it. We got the boat. Now back. that you've helped it, I'll bet this dinosaur trusts you enough to give you a ride. <gasps> yeah, we can have a ride. Okay. And then we're riding this dinosaur. Whoa, we can go. Wait, it's so big. Oh. It is super big, isn't it? What's that? What is that? Should I, should I jump off the stego? Yeah? Should we is jump this off? it? Let's jump off the stego somewhere and find out. Excellent! Oh. You found a new prehistoric animal. Oh. And with it, a new guidebook. Is it supposed to kill us? I don't know, I hope not. Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. So. Wait, that looks sense, that. Yeah. Because it is the same. And it's also from the Jurassic period, and it is a carnivore, meaning it, eat, it eats meat. Dilophosaurus had two crests on its head. It used to show off to others of its kind. Thanks to its strong clawed legs and arms, Dilophosaurus was a top predator in its day. It was a top what? Top predator. A top predator. What's a predator? Well, this predator was light on its feet for its size, thanks to air sacs in its bones that helped lighten the load. Ooh. Ooh, he's light on its feet. Well, this meat out. eater was twice as long as an alligator and weighed about as much as a horse. How much did it weigh? Horse. As much as a horse? Horses are pretty heavy, aren't they? Uh -huh. So these must be pretty Look heavy too. Here's where on, where on earth this animal was found. And where was this one found? North America. In North America. Okay then. Okay, here we go. What is it? It's uh, a flying dinosaur. It's, got some... it's hurt its wings. It's hurt its wings. Excellent. You found a new prehistoric animal. And with it, a new guidebook. Oh, we got another book. It looks scary. Isn't Why it? is it roaring? Roaring. Because you can press a button. Look, if you press that, it'll roar. Go on. The eye? Yeah. Dimorphodon. Dimorphodon? How are we going to learn about this? Let's <laughs> have a look. Okay, so it was also from the Jurassic period and it also was a carnivore. So it eats meat? So it eats meat, that's right. Dimorphodon's leathery wings were stubby and built more for gliding than long flights. On the ground, these big-headed flyers walked on two legs and folded up wings, like bats. Oh. Oh, so they're like bats. It looks like they were. But then like they other early dinosaurs. flying dinosaurs, yeah. Dimorphodon had a tail that helped keep it steady on the wing. The name Dimorphodon means two-shaped teeth. They had sharp front teeth for snagging food and flatter back teeth to grind it up. What does grind mean? So, like, chew your food into dust. Ah, I don't like <laughs> This flyer had a wingspan as wide as a bed is long. What? But it what weighed is a bed? as much as a football helmet. Why so is it so much it was a football bitch. helmet? <laughs> it's a football helmet. <laughs> Here's where on earth this animal was found. Where was it found? Um, Europe? In Europe, that's right. Okay then. That's another one done. We're Wasn't getting through them, aren't interesting? we? Yeah. You can find it again in your library by pressing B. Okay then. Where, where do you want to go? I want to go up there with a thingy is a big stone. Okay. Let's get this one. Is that big stone up there? It's a big stone, isn't it? 
I don't know what that thing is called. That oven is called an obelisk, but there's a closer one. Or oh, there's oh. not a closer one. Where is that? Oh, there it is. That's in a different location. Whoa! There's two of them and there's three! Okay, let's go to this one. That one's closer, isn't it? Because that one's a bit yeah. bigger. Oh, this is interesting. That one's so... red. My, f my favourite colour is red. Yeah, so let's go to the red one then. And let's see where this is. This seems a lot closer than the one I, I used to I heard a play. monkey. I think you might have been. Did you hear it? Yeah. You hear the monkey. I can hear also the forest. What What sound did the monkey do? Oh, oh, ah, ah. <laughs> What's this? Excellent. You found a new prehistoric animal. Whoa. And with it, a new guidebook. Does it eat plants or all meat? Press, press the A button. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay then. Okay, we'll press B. B. There we go. Iguanodon. Ooh, what's Iguanodon? Iguanodon, okay. It was from the Jurassic and it was a herbivore, so it, eat, it used to eat plants. I was right. This huge was fern right. grazer stood as tall as a single story house and weighed as much as a hippo. Weighed as much as a hippo. A hippo? And it's taller than a house. That could be as big as our house then. <gasps> that's might that's be. pretty big. Iguanodon was one of the first dinosaur fossils discovered. Ah. Though people hadn't coined the name dinosaur yet. Named for its iguana-like teeth, Iguanodon didn't actually look much like the iguanas of your time. What's an iguana, do you know? Iguanodon had sharp um, thumb those? spikes and grasping an thumbs done. at the ends of its arms. Its tail and arms helped it balance as it walked low to the ground, eating plants. Why does it eat plants? Here's where on earth this animal was found. Oh, where was it found? North America, South America. Yeah. Europe, Asia, Africa, Europe, Af Aurelia. It's Australia. <laughs> so all of the countries then it was found in. Wow. All in the countries? All in the Even countries. Even our country. Even ours, yeah. So he travelled to our country. He did, yeah. Okay, so let's close that. Wasn't that book interesting? You can find it again in your oh, library on, I, I by see pressing something. B. Do you see it? What else can we find? What's this? Look. Look, look, look. There, there it is. There. there it is. Another artifact. Only 900. Why does that make a sound when and they get stars all around? Maybe we'll get a special prize if we get them all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and gone. Can you help this mum find her egg? Her egg? <gasps> Oh no, she lost her egg. Let's find it, let's go. You found the egg. Yeah. Now you should bring it a, back to its nest. It's a really big egg. Right, where well, we got to take it? We can drop it. Drop it where? Drop it on the floor. Are you sure? Just on the floor? No, I don't. I just, we could. Oh, okay. So like, what, what do we do then? We could like get it to the mother. Okay. Because the mama misses her egg. She does. And she has a baby inside. That's right. And, oh, I think, is this the nest? Much better. Good for you for helping. Hey. We now that you've it helped it, nest. I'll bet this dinosaur trusts you enough to give you a ride. Oh, does that mean we can ride those as well? Oh, we found something here. Oh, <gasps> this is Daddy's favourite. This is Daddy's Excellent. favourite. We found a new prehistoric animal, and with it, a new guidebook. I love these. Oh. Now press the A button, see what it does. Ah. Ah. That looks sad. Why do you have eyes like this, like a line down the middle, Just, like that? Yeah. Maybe because he's vicious? Maybe because he's vicious. Let's press the button. Pego Mastix. What's it called? Pego Mastix. Pego Mastix, right, okay. Oh. It's like Mastix. <laughs> yeah, Mastix. It's a herbivore, so this it eats plants. This weird looking little critter was only the size and weight of a house cat. A house cat? That's right. 
The cat is orange. The cat is orange. Pego Mastix had a parrot-like beak, but it also had sharp teeth-like fangs. Ooh. It yeah. could use all that so mouth like hardware, like shears, yeah. and rip up plants to eat. A bit like a bird. Oh, lots of dinosaurs. Um, yeah, like birds. But Pego Mastix also used those fangs in fights to tear at its rivals. Oh. That one's a bigger than that. It one. is. That looks like a big angry Here's one. Here's where on earth this animal was found. Oh. South America? Is that South America? South Africa. South Africa. That's right, South Africa. I thought it was South America. Mm. Who is it? Okay, then. That's that another one done. Yeah. You can find it again in your library by pressing B. So we have our own library? Yeah, we do. We know what Oh, the variety facts! Yay! Yay! Oh, hang on, what's this here? Hmm? See this wall? Yeah, what's all over that wall? Let's find out. Is it a river? Is it a tie? Oh, it looks like we can't get past it. Hmm. Maybe. Wait, there's a force field, right? Yeah, I see. I wonder how we unlock the force fields. Wait, another one of those artifacts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We got it. You found a go. new prehistoric What's animal. What's that? And with it, a new guidebook. It looks like it has wings. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, but I don't think it does have wings. Did you know some birds, this, this was their great, 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 great granddaddy. Utah Raptor. Utah Raptor? Utah Raptor. It's got long fingernails. So it's from the Cretaceous period and it was a carnivore. So it eats meat? Yeah. This clawed predator grew as long as a moving truck and as heavy grew as, as a cow. As a moving, and heavy as a cow. Heavy as a cow? Um, what? Utah Raptors hunted together in packs to chase down prey animals. They have a pack. To chase down animals. Wow. So it can eat food. Once it caught up to its victim, it would hold animals with hooked claws on its hands and hold slash them with, with its sharp toe nails. Like those, I those can, toes. I can mouth see. Full of teeth, like steak, steak knives. Teeth. Utah raptor steak would knives. tear its food steak apart. Steak knives. <laughs> Anything caught by Utah raptor was in a world of hurt. Oh, no. A world of hurt. Here's where on earth How this animal is found. Was found. Utah in the USA. Utah in the USA. Yeah. Is that a volcano? Yeah. What? Because look, it's not moving. Should we see if we can go to the volcano? What, you the volcano? <gasps> what is that? Look at that. It's probably one of those big dinosaurs that eat meat. Follow those footprints okay. to see where they lead. Why we lead to that big dinosaur? Oh, that looks like the biggest dinosaur ever, doesn't it? Is it gonna eat us? Oh! Excellent! You found a new prehistoric animal, and with it, a new guidebook. Oh, that's a a big new guidebook. Press the A button. B. Gigantosaurus. Gigantosaurus. I trust the B. What's it called? Gigantosaurus. That one. This book is about a meat-eating animal. Gigantosaurus. What we call a carnivore. Press A to open it. This huge meat eater was as long as a school bus. Long as, as, as a school bus. School bus. Heavy as an elephant. Heavy as an elephant. Although it was gigantic, this dinosaur's name actually means. Giant southern lizard. Giant, Gigantosaurus giant was lizard. bigger than yeah. the Tyrannosaurus I had that a came lizard. along much later, but smaller than the Spinosaurus of its day. This is my first a video with hunter. you. It is. Gigantosaurus had a keen sense of smell and sharp clawed arms for close attacks. One thing sharp that was definitely not attacks. giant about close Gigantosaurus attacks was its brain, oh, which was the size and shape is this from one of, of the videos. Gigantosaurus. <laughs> yeah, like a what's, what's it the shape of? Um, a lizard? A banana. A banana? Yeah. <laughs>
And where did we find it? Where did we find it? Close, Argentina. 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 Okay then. Can you help this mum oh. find her baby? What's he say? What's he say? What's he say? What's he say? We gotta find his baby. Yeah, but right. I wanna press the A. There's something happening. You're jumping. I wonder where it's leading us. I wonder too. Oh, you're really close now. <gasps> Is that the baby? Ah, oh, maybe because that's what. You found the missing baby. That's the baby. Hey! It oh, it's mother? a big baby. Let's take it back to his mother. Is this the mum? I think Hello! so. Hello. Hello. Hello, Much mama. Good hey. It's baby. Oh. Oh. Why is the baby? I thought, the, enough to give I thought you a ride. the baby was like um higher than her, but like there. Yeah, it's nowhere there. close. To the tree. Should, should we ride it? Yeah, let's try and ride the mama. Whoa. Oh. That dinosaur can move anything. Oh, go yeah. in the water, go in the water. <gasps> Wait, the force field! Oh, yeah. Let's go in the water. Oh, that's right. interesting. I've only just realised the shoulder buttons you turn with. Not... So we're using the stick the entire time. That is so high than the water. This is pretty big. This is prob probably one of the biggest dinosaurs in the game. <laughs> Maybe you can open the force field. Maybe. Because it's so big. Okay. Oh. The volcano! The volcano! Hang on then. Oh! It has lava. We're not gonna jump in, are we? Oh, 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 we might burn our feet. Oh, okay, so we can't go that way. This dinosaur probably doesn't mind lava. But he doesn't mind the biggest lava bit. Maybe not. <gasps> mm, you right. can't go there. Best to go back to where you can search for more oh, creatures. Oh, we've got to find more creatures before we're allowed to go through there. Oh, we can't go there. Because that's the force field. That's right. Excellent. You found a new oh, prehistoric See, animal. See, I told you that animal is on the volcano. Okay, then. So, do you think we can ride it? Yeah. But what Tapahara. is it? What's it called? Tapahara. Why has it got Tapahara. enough hearts there? I don't know. This crested flyer had a wingspan like an albatross, but was four times as heavy. Four times as heavy, eh? Four times as heavy? It looks like big as a bird. Tapahara's head crest was a much bigger version of the brightly coloured comb a rooster might show off in your time. version is a finger? Mm -hmm. Most pterosaurs were meat eaters, meat but Tapahara's eaters. beak yeah. wasn't built for that. Its Ooh. curved beak was ideal for... Here's where was where it found? This animal was found. But, uh, at... Brazil. Brazil, well done. Okay, so did you enjoy that? Yeah. Yeah? Was it good? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to play more of it? Yeah. And find out a bit more dinos? Yeah. Well, there we go, people. That's Dino Discovery. We will be playing it again with other mini Ras and figuring out how to build. No idea how, how you do that yet, but stay tuned for that one. If you do want to watch that one, please like and comment. Let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, Mini Ras, for joining. My name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, ah, oh. peace out.